Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another mini episode of Attitudes with Andy. My name is Andy and we are here, and I say we as a community, to learn and grow mainly from other people, which is what our Monday episodes are for, but the mini episodes are for you and I to have a chit chat, you know. I'm having realizations after realizations and I get to speak to some incredible people and they really do help me realize some things. So, First of all, if you're on YouTube, howdy. If you're on Spotify or Apple, whatever listening platform, please feel free to press subscribe or follow as that really, really supports the channel. So today I want to talk about temptation and kind of getting excited by projects, ideas and things um, and having your little finger in a lot of pies, you know little fingers and a lot of pies and if you have an entrepreneurial mind you'll know what I mean and you're probably here because you do have an entrepreneurial mind and I love that for you. So I and you are probably somebody who likes to take on a lot, gets excited about opportunities and says yes a lot. Especially because, I don't know about you, but I'm young, I'm 23, and it can be so tempting to be like, yes, 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 and then you find that you are doing five or so projects, and then your focus is just so spread that you're not really doing much in any of them, right? And I used to think, oh, this is so good. I'm so busy. I'm saying yes. I'm taking on opportunity. But what was happening is that I really wasn't doing many things well. And so it wasn't until I listened to Alex Ormosi, classic. If you haven't listened to him, check him out. Um, Also check out Amir, I think his name is. Uh, He's really cool as well. Anyway, Alex prefaces. Oh my gosh, if you know me, I can't say the word preface. Prefaces. Okay. Alex hones in the message that until you've made your first million, you should be focusing on one thing, one product, one channel, one avatar. And that's because like, how are you going to build five things at once? It's like pick one and go all in on that. And that felt really terrifying. I was like, wait, what? But what if, you know, the other things do work out, but you've called them. But I think you have so much more of a chance of making something work if you just focus on one thing, especially in your beginning phases, right? And I always imagine it, it's like you're trying to build a house, right? We're building a brick house, we're back in the day. And you could try and build five houses at once or even two houses at once, right? That's going to be quite hard to be like, all right, I need to build the foundation over there. Oh, and then I need to go over to the other house. I need to build the foundation over there. Oh, okay, we need to do the interior for this house. Oh, and we need to do the interior for that house, right? Your energy, your mind, everything is going to be pulled in two directions versus if you just focus on building one solid house with really good foundations, really good interior, all of that, then once you've completed that house, then you can go, okay, let's build the next house. Instead of being like, I'm going to start a podcast, a YouTube channel, a business all at the same time. It's like, let's just focus on one thing at a time. And so that's what I did in the last, I think, six months. I've definitely culled a lot of unnecessary things from my life. I've simplified things down. Yes, I still work my job as being a personal assistant, but I actually see it as a really good way to complement my podcast and building my podcast. Um, And so that's been amazing. But those are kind of like my main things in my life. And everything else, I'm like, okay. I either have on autopilot or I cull it. So when I mean autopilot, I mean my health and fitness. Like I've done enough research and stuff to know what foods my body goes well with. I know like I just go to classes now. Um, So I just rock up. They tell me what to do. So that's an autopilot, guys. I don't need to think about that. I have a running schedule. So I just look at it. Oh, okay. Today we're running 10 kilometers. Today we're running 15 kilometers, whatever it is. I know what I'm doing. I don't have to think about that. And so I think it's putting a lot of things either on autopilot, you know, the things that are important to you, like your health and fitness, or culling it, okay? And this is something I understand. It's hard. I understand. But it's actually so important and you have no idea how much 
free space your brain will have to think of good ideas and to be hyper focused on one thing. It is genuinely freaking life changing and and I felt really anxious to do it but now that I've done it I'm like oh this is great and people might say hey is it okay if you just quickly help me with this or do you want to work on this and you just have to be confident in yourself and be like thank you so much but I'm actually all good that's the summary of that and then I get it there's also temptations right and on the regular I will think of business ideas and I will think of wow, if I actually started doing that, I could earn a lot of money. Or if I started doing that, I could earn a lot of money. But then I think, okay, what are your long-term goals? And to build something alone, like just to build whatever it is you want to build is going to take a lot of time and energy. So if you think that jumping ships to the next best thing is going to get you to success quicker, it's probably not. I always say, if you wait in line long enough, you'll eventually get to the front. So Stick to what you're doing as long as you're finding fulfillment and you're enjoying it. Cull everything that it, that doesn't have anything to do with it, that doesn't complement it. If it complements it, keep doing it. Like I have a job and it's not regular, but I do like contract work for doing team, team building activities, okay? And I'll either do that in person and get up on stage with a microphone and be leading people or I'll be online leading people and I see that as a huge compliment to my podcast because it's people skills it's public speaking it's all of that okay whereas if it's a job like waiting tables that doesn't really relate to my goals I have enough income coming in I don't need to do that so it's just yeah finding things that are actually in line with where you want to go and culling everything that isn't and trust me the ability to say no you can build that muscle because I used to not have it and now I have it, okay? And you just need to always ask yourself, is this in line with where I want to go and what I want to build? And if it's not, then it ain't for you, all right? And I think when we're young, we think like, oh, I can do anything and everything, but are you going to do it well? That's the question. Are you going to do it well? So I encourage you to look at the things in your life. What is it that's consuming a lot of your energy? Is that where you want to be spending your energy? Can you get rid of it? minimize it, whatever it is, okay? You're going to have a lot more space and creative thoughts, I promise you. So I encourage you to do that. Thank you guys for listening to this mini episode or watching on YouTube. As I said before, guys, following and subscribing follow <laughs> helps immensely. So please do that if you did enjoy it. Feel free to share this around, send it to your entrepreneurial friend who has their fingers in a lot of pies um, to encourage them to slow down and just focus on one thing at a time build one house at a time guys and if you want more kind of motivational stuff I have an Instagram chan- channel Instagram page at andy.bentley underscore so come say howdy there or you can follow the podcast page which is attitudes with Andy thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week for another episode bye <laughs>